Hey, it's Rihanna. Welcome back to my channel. I'm finally sitting down to talk to y'all about birth control pills and surgery and all that kind of stuff. If you've been watching my vlogs, I have mentioned numerous times over the past month that I've been meaning to sit down and do like a follow up to my last video where I went in for my surgery consult and I know that I've mentioned that I'm birth control pills now and all that kind of stuff. Um, I'm doing it. I'm finally doing it. Link up in the eye to that last video if you haven't checked it out and you want to check it out. The other thing before I get started with this video, super TMI. Super. Like I'm going to talk about all kinds of things happening <laughs> to my womanly parts. If you don't want to hear about it, I understand. Click the X. Go watch another video. I'll see y'all on the next one. Have a great day. For everyone else, <laughs> let's get started. Okay, so the last video, like I said, I was going to my surgery consult that I was referred to by my second opinion for a DNC. That was what I was going for, I thought. <laughs> okay, so I get to the appointment and first things first, they don't know why I'm there. They don't have any of my records. They don't know who referred me. They don't know any of my history, nothing. They don't know anything. So the doctor comes in and he's like, give me the rundown. So after <laughs> taking a deep breath, I give him the rundown. I explain everything the best that I can, you know, what I'm there for. Um, what's been going on, you know, the ultrasounds, the biopsies, the bleeding that I've been having, um, the inconsistent periods, the, you know, just how my period went from like normal to like every single day, sort of, kind of, but super light and all this kind of stuff. And, and he's like, okay. And I don't have like real insurance. I've got, we've got basic coverage for like wellness visits and then like emergency type stuff but we don't have like a good insurance for like I, if I needed surgery we'd have to pay a really high deductible basically um and so he's like I don't want to do he's like I don't want to do too much and make you have to pay all this money um especially for things you've already had like normally he was saying how he wanted to do like another ultrasound, another biopsy and all this kind of stuff. And I'm like, I've already done all this. And it's been like less, it's been like six months. Basically he's like trying to figure out the best plan of action for me without it costing us a lot of money. One of the things that he said was that the DNC um, is kind of like an old school way of treating my issue. Um, they call it a therapeutic DNC and it's not always necessarily beneficial and so he's like I don't want you to pay $2,500 to have a DNC and then it not help your issue so he was like so we're gonna kind of hold off on that for now um, he wanted to do a physical exam so of course there we go again luckily Jonathan was with me so I had some like moral support or whatever and you know we're both every time the doctor or the nurse goes out of the room we're both just like I cannot believe this is happening like they don't have any of my information they don't know who referred me they don't know why I'm there like it's just crazy that this is this is happening so he does the physical exam and they see like a fibroid or a polyp or whatever and they're like gonna remove it and so I was like, really? Cause like they just did that. Like at my last exam, they did that. It was like, either they didn't get it all or there's another one. So they go to remove it and they're like, do you want to see it? Guys, this is not what I was expecting. I was thinking, okay, this is seriously way, way TMI. So if you don't want to know this really just like skip past this. I was thinking like a skin tag, you know, something very small very small it wasn't it was huge it was disgusting I literally like I think I yelled I think I exclaimed in a very loud voice when they showed it to me it was gross so they removed that and 
he says everything looks good you know like the, as far as like the vis visual examination like everything looks okay i was actually starting to spot that day of course and so he was like yeah i can see that you're spotting or whatever like and he leaves again and he comes back and he's like, what about birth control pills? He was like, I know that fertility is like your end goal. He was like, but right now you're more focused on like trying to stop the bleeding. So like, what if I put you on birth control? And I was like, yes. And see, the thing is, is like other doctors have said I couldn't be on birth control because my blood pressure was high. And so I said that to him and he was like, your blood pressure isn't high. He was like, it was like one like 130 over 80 or something like that and like that's always when I go to the doctor it's always a smidge high but it's not technically like I don't technically have high blood pressure so like if they check my blood pressure before I leave the office it'll be back down to like 120 over 80 or lower than that sometimes um so I don't typically have elevated blood pressure issues um and I was like but what about my age I'm 37 I thought they don't like to give you know birth control you know after 35 and he was like that's old he's like we he's like we'll, we'll prescribe you know birth control to people you know someone who's 60 so um he was like i think our primary concern right now is to try to get your basically to get you to stop bleeding so do you want birth control pills and i'm like absolutely um so he prescribes me like permella i think is the name of it and i go home and basically he's like, okay, so we're gonna, he's gonna wait for my medical records. He's gonna send that one little thing off to the lab. And in the meantime, we're gonna figure out like what we're gonna do or whatever. And he on a, he actually said that if we weren't trying to get pregnant, that he would maybe suggest a hysterectomy because if we're gonna have to pay out of pocket, like if we're gonna have to pay $2,500, might as well pay for a hysterectomy versus a DNC. Like if that, if fertility wasn't like our end goal. Obviously we don't want a hysterectomy if we're trying to get pregnant. If you watched my vlog from last week, you know that me and Jonathan are almost to the point where we don't care anymore. We're so tired of dealing with this because I come home from the doctor. I start taking my birth control pills, one pill a day. I'm bleeding. I started bleeding at the doctor's office. I'm still bleeding a week later. I'm still bleeding two weeks later. I'm taking the pill every day at the same time. I'm still bleeding two and a half weeks later. I start bleeding so heavy that I'm going through a tampon, a super tampon in 30 minutes. Now it's not, I'm not hemorrhaging. I call the nurse's line. I know what the things are or whatever, but I'm just super heavy. And it's been two and a half weeks and I'm taking the birth control pill and I'm bleeding super heavy. So I start, I've done this before with another doctor where they did the taper method where they started giving me two pills. So I start taking two pills, one in the morning, one in the evening, finally stops the bleeding. So I'm taking two pills, the bleeding stops. I'm not bleeding for a week. I stopped taking one pill, just go back to one pill. So one pill, and then like three days later, I started bleeding again. And I'm like, are you kidding me? So that was like three or four days of taking one pill. I went back to taking two pills. I really need to go back to the doctor and tell them that one pill doesn't stop the bleeding. I'm having to take two pills a day. If, if they're okay with me taking two a day, that's fine. But they need to adjust my prescription because I'm going to run out of refills. <laughs> and I don't have any real side effects um, from taking two a day other than I'm getting headaches. I'm more prone to headaches um than i was before i started taking the pill so all of this basically is like i was saying jonathan and i are just we're really done like the bleeding is out of control and if i have to be on birth control pills to stop the bleeding i'm not gonna be able to get pregnant anyways i'm not gonna be able to get pregnant if i'm bleeding like my hormones are so out of whack like I've tried taking, you know, I, I'm just, I'm just at my wits end at this point. And I am almost to the point where I want to be like, so about that hysterectomy, <laughs> because I'm, I'm getting really tired. Like bleeding all the time is really frustrating. 
like besides the fact of like having to wear a pad or a tampon every single day not knowing if i can go to a friend's house without having to bring supplies with me and a change of clothes you know not being able to be intimate with my husband without it being an issue like the summer when i was swimming and just being stressed out all the time and you know like we have a social life and i don't i don't that's embarrassing you know it's really embarrassing and it's frustrating and i'm done like i'm done i'm beyond done so i'm trying to get through i'm trying to get through the holidays get past the first of the year i'm gonna get back to the doctor's office after that explain what's going on and see what they think we should do next um i'm trying to give the you know the doctors <sighs> You know the benefit of the doubt i understand that our bodies aren't black and white like there's not a simple like do this and it'll fix your problem for everyone i understand that but it's it's hard <laughs> it's just really hard <sighs> so that's the update <laughs> um i'm just gonna keep taking two pills a day and hopefully my body doesn't get adjusted to two pills and then decide that I'm gonna need more than two pills and I start bleeding again because I at that point I will just drive myself to the doctor and say take my take them all take it out take it all out take it out now <laughs> okay I'm gonna wrap it up I probably sound like a crazy person I am at this point I am going crazy subscribe hit the thumbs up button have any questions leave them down below I'll see you guys next time. Bye. And that is about my first marriage. Stay tuned.